I was always painting and drawing and stuff, but I turned into a little graffiti artist when I was in my young age. We were just defacing property, you know. When um, I got stopped by the cops, we almost got arrested. Me and my friend were painting the school. We were tagging in the back. And now it's funny because now I get paid to paint at schools now. So it turned out to be a, a greater outcome, you know. Larry Jones turned his talent onto canvas, clothes, and shoes to become Wet Paint Larry, a popular and inspiring Rialto artist and entrepreneur. It was the artwork on his car that got him his first big break. The principal, after I get my brother, he walks us to the car, he's all like, whoa. He looks at my car, he's like, oh, what do you do? I had a group of parents coming up to me asking me that um, they wanted to uh, improve the look in the cafeteria. He was just so excited and enthusiastic about, you know, producing some work um, at our school. Six hours later, I was done with the whole auditorium. When the students saw this mural, they thought, that uh, we had a brand new cafeteria. I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. Beyond murals, he began his clothing line. My dad, he came and he just gave me a bag of hats. What can you do with these? I just went in the garage and drew something. And it, was, it turned out to be the pizza. I love pizza, so I just created it and made it sloppy parlor. So. People of all ages follow the Rialto artist on social media to keep up with his events, sales, and free giveaways. It is not uncommon for fans to arrive as early as 3 in the morning to line up and ensure they will get sloppy parlor gear. Supports the schools, supports our city, um, keeps kids off the streets. It's something to do. It, late at night he does drops and come get my stuff. Instead of out there partying, doing who knows what, it's, hey guys, come get some really cool free stuff. Stay off the streets. Larry's a positive role model for the kids in Rialto, and my son has all kinds of hats and shirts and you know, uh, with the way that the world is today, you know, and with the gangs and the drugs and all that, it's not like that with Larry. The kids love him. He'll talk to them, he'll stop and recognize them. The kids look up to him. I started drawing like a couple months ago because like it was like, I was like really inspired by him because like, like he's a street artist from Rialto and like it's really cool to see like someone from here get really big. You don't have to lose your touch with the graffiti, but I don't feel like we should be defacing property, doing all this vandalism, because it's not worth it to get, to be in prison or get locked up or anything for you trying to do art. I think it's important to be able to give our local artists an opportunity. That way our community gets to enjoy it, instead of them having to leave the Inland Empire.